Servus guys and welcome to my next Pulsar tutorial. Today we are going to have a closer look at the classes. So as I already mentioned we have five classes like the captain as I do. Then we have our weapons officer. So um, let's get a talent, advanced operator so I can use the main turret. Um, we had this class in another tutorial uh, about fighting and uh, shooting and so on. Yeah then we have a pilot which is piloting the ship, of course. And then we have two very important classes, which are the engineer and the science officer. So let's have a closer look at the, let's say, um, well, very basic things that the engineer has to do. So the engineer does everything about the ship's energy management. The, he is the energy manager. So um, you, you have a core in your ship and the core is heating up if, you're ne if you need a lot of energy and your uh, energy officer is, um, well, has to think about which system needs most energy and, well, has to discuss it with the captain and within the fight it's possible that well, like your ships lead, need more energy than your science lab or your engineering, which means uh, maneuvering thrusters and so on. And with this panel, he's able to shift, well, the energy from one system to another or, or let's say limit the energy uh, for one system just with the left click on this thing. And, um, well, he tells you... Um, well, it's just like this, so everything is going high. I removed the engineer bot because he's always interfering with my energy settings. And um, yes, this is one part. The other part is the auxiliary reactor config. So certain system can be turned on and off. And for example, atrium healing, which means that your healing device in your ship is on or off. And all these things, even if they are in standby, need energy. So um, Within a fight, for example, you, are, you do not need your atrium healing. It's it's most unlike, unlikely that you need it. Um, so you can turn it off. You do not need it. And there are some other things. Um, so this should be turned off. Then we have oxygen generator. This should be turned on because on the upper left side, you see now on my oxygen going low and uh, you will die then. <laughs> Climate control, it, well, does not do any effect uh, at the moment, so this might be implemented uh, at the later stage of the game, so you can turn this off. Spotlights is just lights at the uh, exterior of the ship, so turn it off, you don't need it. Then you got the little aim assist. Um, yeah, you saw this in the weapons tutorial. This is the little right, uh, white um, uh, circle to help you aim at moving targets. You can turn this on and off without fighting or if you are not in a fight, you can turn it off. If you have a cool down phase, so if you, if your temperature is very high, just turn all these things off. Yeah, cyber defense is clear. It's like antiviruses and so on. You can turn it off if there are no enemy ships around you. And uh, interior lights, yeah, as you can see, and missiles. So you can't shoot any missiles if this isn't on. So this is quite important to have a check on and yeah, do not waste energy. So um, yeah, like if you are uh, in a fight or after the fight, uh, you might have a very high cool uh, core temp. So turn off all the things you do not need and um, let the, the core turn, turn down its heat because this is, this is very important. Uh, if the core is too high on temperature, everything will shut down. And if you are in the middle of the fight and your ship shuts down, uh, not the best best thing to do. So uh, as, the, as you already saw at the navigation tutorial, there's a jump thing. You just have to click there and, uh, well, execute a jump. And the... Um, well, the captain can say, okay, let's do a blind jump, which is very fast. You do not have to charge the jump, but the blind jump means that you are jumping anywhere. There could, this is very random and your ship gets destroyed or damaged. So this is very, well, just the last opportunity to survive a fight or to get out of a fight is a blind jump. Use this with caution. So distress signal hasn't worked for me yet, maybe uh, in a later version. But what is important is coolant. So if you are in a fight and your core temp is very high, um, you are close to, to a shut off, just pump in coolant uh, into your core and um, the core temp gets down. Um, so this is a very unique tool to have some extra power, to have some, yeah, reduces your core temp, um, which can be very, um, 
important within a fight. So this coolant can be bought um, in a repair station. So um, check that this is always full. This is very important. So now about the science officer. The science officer has uh, different things to do. For example, he has to uh, start communications with other ships or trading stations. So he's clicking just on the possibilities here and the captain sees now the communication and well, they do not want to talk to us and they may get hostile now. Um, ah, as they do so, they are now attacking us. Yeah, so everything about comms. Then there is a thing called virus. These are this, uh, those uh, warp drive programs, um, which are, well, in the hand of the, of the science officer. So um, let's get a weapon bot to shoot at them. So we shoot it back now. So uh, anyway, um, the scientist officer can shield, um, can can shield, can switch the, um, the shield type. So we can switch from modulate, which is plus energy defense, to static, which is plus physical de defense. That means um, if you are getting attacked by a rocket, for example, you should switch to static. And if there are energy weapons, then change to the modulate one. So this is a search program. Um, I, I did not use it one time, so maybe it gets interesting later on in the game. Well, and then there are the programs. This is the main thing the scientist has to do. He can execute programs like uh, viruses. Sitting duck virus means that um, the enemy ship, um, the thrusters of the enemy ship gets disabled. So the sitting duck is now working for another 49, 48 seconds and uh, it did not reach the enemy ship at the moment. That's why you see the attempt thing. So it's attempting to, well, infect the other ship's system. And uh, well, this is random if it works or not. So um, you just have to wait and maybe um, the, the virus um, yeah, gets closed because uh, after some time it turns off. So now the sitting duck worked. We infected the other ship and you see the infection runs another 30 seconds. So the thrusters are disabled for another 30 seconds. Yeah, and there are many other programs. One very special program, with, which is the most important program, is called Block Long Range Comps. And as you can see on the bottom left, we uh, lose reputation because we, we are attacking a ship. We, by the way, uh, are also losing reputation if we get attacked and shoot back. So whenever you shoot back, you lose reputation. And the block long range comms uh, is able to, well, save you. So no reputation gets lost because all communication are blocked. Very important thing. And you, found, you find this on um, the white dollar signs. So it's random there, but uh, there is a chance to find this on the white dollar um, stations. So then one thing from the scientist officer is to uh, scan everything, to scan planets, to scan other ships, to scan for life forms, um, to tell you uh, if there is a good climate on the planet and uh, well yeah to look at the components so you can see okay the ship got a massive torrents or a shield generator and you should not mess with them or well, they are likely to destroy or got some good stuff in there. So maybe, um, yeah, your loot would be nice. So this is the basic information about the engineer and the scientist officer. Yeah, thank you for watching. And yeah, check out the other Pulsar tutorials in English. Uh, if you're German, there are tutorials as well. And have a good day. See ya.